Namaste children. Today we are going to learn the story of Amrita. Do you know who is Amrita? Amrita is a girl star. She is one of the girls like you all children. Do you know what is the meaning of girl star? Girl star means doing some extraordinary work. She, Amrita was an ordinary girl who did some extraordinary work to save the trace. The story of Amrita is for class 4 ABS and it is presented by me that is T. Rangabai. Children, this is the map of India and each and every one of us need to know the names of the streets along with their capitals. So in order to make the children, enable the children to remember the names of the streets as well as the capitals very easily, we need to learn part by part so that we may not forget. For example, here let's start with Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh. Okay. The, now it is very easy to name the capitals also. Once you learn the street, the capitals already is in your mind and it comes back along with you with the state. For example, Jammu Kashmir, Srinagar, Jammu, Himachal Pradesh, Shimla, Chandigarh, Punjab, Haryana, Delhi, New Delhi, Uttarakhand, Dehradun, Uttar Pradesh, Lucknow. So in this way, if you remember, it's fine children. Now let's learn the states and the capitals of the southern part of India. Let's start with Maharashtra. Mumbai, Karnataka, Bengaluru, Goa, Panaji, Kerala, Tiruvannantapuram, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati, Telangana, Hyderabad, Odisha, Bhuvaneshwar. Fine children. First let's stay, learn the states and the capitals. Then next the union territories. Now let's come over to the eastern part. Arunachal Pradesh, Itanagar. Nagaland, Kohima, Manipur, Imphal, Mizoram, Aizwal, Tripura, Agartala, Meghalaya, Shillong, Assam, Kogati, Fine, Sikkim, Gangtok, now the western part children, Rajasthan, Jaipur, Gujarat, Gandhinagar, Maharashtra already we have learnt, Mumbai, Goa, Panaji, right? Madhya Pradesh, Bhopal, Chhattisgarh, 
Now you should tell me what is this Chhattisgarh, Charkand. Okay. We find the entire states and their capitals. You can just go through the northern part, eastern part, western part, southern part and the central part. Now here children, the seed is a tiny part, okay? Some seeds are very, very, very tiny. Some seeds are little bigger. Some seeds are more bigger, okay? Now let's take the tiniest seed like the mustard seed. What you do is you take one mustard seed, only one mustard seed and just just put it inside the mud. Don't press it hard. Okay and cover it. Then after some 4 or 5 days you find the mustard plant. It grows straight. Where It will be very very slender children. Okay. See the mustard seed will trans will come over through all these steps and you can see a slender just imagine children slender stem with few leaves and some fruit with mustard seeds in it when you open it the seeds are green if you eat also it will be sweet but once these seeds are dry it will become we don't feel like having the seeds okay we use it in a food because it is very good for health okay now this seed you can think it is a like a bean seed okay now when it, the seed is placed into the inside the soil what happens is it is getting the sunlight from the sun it's getting the minerals from the soil it is getting the water from the soil. So it is getting the sufficient material and it is getting the air, isn't it? Then on the third day or fourth day, you find you will not notice when it is inside the soil. But when we keep the seeds inside the cotton and observe children, you will you will find all these stages. See, the foot is stored inside the seeds in the form of cotyledons then slowly one embryo comes out yes and it forms a root system from the embryo is inside okay the foot is also provided in the cotyledons the two parts of the seeds when we open isn't it then slowly this will grow a little big then as it is growing up the seed also will be exerted out. Then after some one or two days what happens? You can find one green, green stem with the seed. Then after some days, see here, these are the seeds and the leaves are appearing. So when the leaves appear, these cotyledons, it falls down. And this plant, it grows into huge, big trees. Okay. So, these are the stages in the germination of a seed. Okay. When you put the seed in the soil, then, it, then the seed starts giving rise to the root part of the stem and the stem part of the stem. The root part is below the soil. It is brown in color. The stem part is about the soil, it is green in color. Just imagine children, such a small seed, it grows into a very big neem tree, banana tree, apple tree, mango tree, banyan tree, peepal tree. Isn't it? What a wonderful creation of God. Now here, we think that trees are growing on their own. Trees don't have mummy, daddy to come and fight. If somebody is cutting down the tree, no one will object anything. They will just say, 
okay he is cutting down the tree for wood and all they go away but when somebody is beating you children you will go and complain to your mother but your mother and uh, what your mother does she say who is that child who beat you and she will go and see outside the center they feel your parents feel the pain but when somebody is cutting the tree no one feels the pain but we should feel the pain children that if we cut down the trees the oxygen level in the air will be decreased then every one of us will have to suffer for the want of oxygen proper amount of oxygen so here trees also feel the pain when we hurt them but it doesn't have a mouth to speak isn't it but still people cut them they don't know that trees are useful to us in many ways so let's see how are they useful trees give us oxygen to breathe children just hold your nose and mouth for at least 1 minute let's see whether you can hold if you cannot hold your breath you just uh, try to take a deep breath remove your just remove it come on yeah now we are not able to breathe when we are holding our nose and mouth we feel it very difficult isn't it when we remove we are so free because unknowingly we are breathing in no oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide here we make medicines from trees like tulsi plant we have the tulsi plant in each and every house okay now early morning what you need to do is just brush your teeth then take two tulsi leaves wash them well and you eat it see just see how well it works out and not only that the neem the tender neem leaves also it's very good for health the tender palm leaves also it's very good for health see medicine they penny trees have medicinal value their leaves are also useful okay they give us fruits and shade also yes children during summer season just when we are walking and we feel too hot but all of a sudden when we go and stand under the tree oh my god we will not feel hungry also we just feel like taking rest and when you look up when you are uh, sleeping under the mango tree you will have mango fruit to eat is it at all free of cost trees are home to many living things see many birds live in that in the trees they make their nests see how we build houses is it the birds also build their nests they have that skill of creating many birds make their nests in its branches but what happens unfortunately uh, due to strong winds sometimes the branches break and at the same time what happens the nest will fall down and the eggs will be broken but the parent birds they will fly away but sometimes we see some birds chirping near the tree near the tree that is only when the eggs or the babies are displaced now let's re, let's learn little about why is this girl amrita famous why are we reading her story she is after all a girl but she is a girl child yes now children all most of you are girls and most of you are boys so girls can do some extraordinary work and become girl stars Now, there was a girl called Amrita A M R I T Amrita in a village called Khejadli it is very near to Jodhpur in the state of Rajasthan so here Amrita's Amrita's village was Khejadli where is Khejadli Khejadli is at Jodhpur where is Jodhpur Jodhpur is in Rajasthan Now here Rajasthan is a state in North India. 
it is the biggest state in india rajasthan is a state in north india and it is the biggest state in india this is a general knowledge question children which is the biggest state in india means it is rajasthan now here different states have their own maps okay we learned about khejandi village in jodhpur in pakistan okay here rajasthan is a state and they have their own maps and here you find jodhpur okay in the jodhpur there is a village called khejandi fine and there amrita used to live and here in this picture you can see the bishnois of rajasthan the people in that village they used to be called as bishnois now here you find uh, something trees here and uh, some women are killed and this lady she is stopping this man from cutting down the tree and these are the king's men the minister is ordering the soldiers to cut down the trees and all they are helpless okay now let's read let's learn about who are this bishnois and what is their great achievement here amrita was very fond of trees she used to take care of all the trees everyone in the village loved trees and animals naturally when trees are there animals also feel like moving around and even birds like to move around we hear the chirping of the birds isn't it so they took very good care of them number of animals roamed everywhere in the village they knew that no but he would hurt them so here all the domestic see now here in the cities we find the domestic animals they'll be moving freely on the road now they have some geo locator geo locator location locator and they will leave the animals wherever want uh, they want the animals will be moving and you in the evening the owners of these animals with the help of the geo locator on their ears they find out the location of the animals and they bring back home okay they knew that nobody would hurt them see the wild and the domestic animals they know that in that village everyone likes the trees everyone like the animals and all so they were very feeling very secure one day the king issued an order that all trees should be cut because the king needed wood the king sent his men to cut the trees for wood he wanted the wood to build his palace when the king's soldiers started to cut the trees amrita got very scared so here what happened one day the king wanted wood he wanted to build his palace so once the king orders the soldiers will not talk any other word okay they went and they started cutting the trees and here all the people they love the trees isn't it so amrita got very scared okay she went into the village she collected all the people and with everyone's help she guarded the trees she did not allow even a single tree to be cut everyone in the village hugged the trees and did not allow the king's men to cut the trees all the ladies they just hugged the trees they thought that if they hug the tree the king men the king's men will not cut down the tree but here the king's men did not leave the villagers also they cut down the villagers also along with the tree and did not allow the king's men to cut the trees the king's men had to follow the king's orders no one can disobey the king's orders 
So they started cutting down the trees and many people including Amrita were killed. The king was shocked that people had given their lives to save the trees. He went to the village himself and felt sorry for what has happened. He ordered that no one should harm any trees or animals in that village anymore. It is 300 years now since this happened and even today the people of this village protect their plants and animals. It is the Vishnu's of Rajasthan. Even though this Kejadli village is in the middle of the desert, it is even green and animals live fearlessly in this area. Why do you think it, the, even the desert is very green? Because the Kejadli roots grow deeper, deep, deep, deep into the ground and they absorb lot of water. So there are many Kejadli trees, isn't it? Kejadli trees. Hence, even though it is a desert, it is very green and animals live there freely. You know, once what happened, an actor, we will not allow the name of the actor. Your parents know it very well, but it doesn't look nice to mention the name of the actor who had done it uh, just like that he actually he didn't want to kill that black buck an actor killed a black buck during one of his film, film shoots the Vishnoi community protested and saw that the guilty was punished now here people who hunt and kill animals will be caught by the police and will be punished it is not right to kill animals. Even we should not cut down the trees also children. Remember, even if to cut down a tree, we need the permission of the authorities. Nowadays, people are cutting trees and birds are losing their homes. So the birds population is decreasing day by day. So children, if ever we find anyone cutting any tree or killing any animal without permission from the concerned officials, you should report the matter to the police. So this is the story of Amrita, the girl star. Now there is lot of importance of the Kejadi tree. Yes, there are many uses of the Kejadi tree. Let's learn much about it. The first point is Kejadi tree does not need much water to grow. Okay, so it grows very easily in the desert areas. It's secondly, its foot is very special. Special means it is not affected by insect. There are some wood where insects get into the wood and uh, after a few months what happens the whole wood is eaten by the insects. For example the white ants, okay, termites and all. The first point is they do not need much water so they grow easily in the desert areas. Secondly, its wood is very special. It does not get affected by insects. Thirdly, people also cook its fruit and eat them. Thirdly, people also cook its fruit and eat them. For example, we have the jackfruit. Jackfruit seeds are little bigger, isn't it? So what we should do is, my, I, my mother, she used to uh, burn that seed on charcoal and give us to eat and it is very rich in protein children and we used to really enjoy even now also the jackfruit seeds you can just burn it on the gas stove coal you will not get now very so easily so you can ask your mother to burn it on gas stove and inside part you can have it 
Animals in that area enjoy nibbling and eating its leaves. Now, in that area, there is no need to bring special food for these animals. They only nibble the leaves and eat them. It gives lots of shade for the people to rest and children play under the shade of this tree. Now, a uh, kejadi tree, it grows very, very, very wide. You know why? Because the branches will be spreading so far and wide, far and wide. Isn't it? It looks like as if there is a very vast, very big umbrella. Even when it rains, if you stand under this kejadi tree, you will not get wet because the leaves will not allow the raindrops to fall on you. Isn't it? Okay, these are the uses of the kejadi tree. Now we can benefit from trees without hurting them. We should never cut trees. We should collect only the dry sticks that fall off the tree. What if people cut all the trees? It will lead to lots of problems. People will not be able to live without trees. All the animals from the jungle will enter the villages. Because animals, wild animals, they live in the forest. Because no human beings will be there and they go very freely. Once the trees are cut, they will not know what to do. Isn't it? They will come enter the villages, then they will eat down the uh, cows and calves and all. The most important thing is that it will not rain. You see that forest in my childhood I learned forests attract the clouds. I used to think how will the forest attract the clouds? Then later on I understood. Oh, forest means all wild trees, very big, big, huge trees. Okay, because of that, what happens? The water vapor evaporates and it forms into clouds and it comes down in the form of rain. We will not have enough rains. Trees give us the oxygen that we need to breathe. If we cut all the trees, we will not be able to breathe. Hence, trees are are true friends because we need them for us to live. We cannot live without trees. Let's do something interesting. Let us see each make one tree our friend because it is our duty to take care of the trees, adopt a tree and name it. Every day you go near the tree, you touch it. See, tree means it is very, very huge. What you do is adopt a small plant, rose plant or any other. You touch it as if, see, for example, if you have a baby sister or baby brother, you touch them and you enjoy with them. You speak with them, isn't it? In the same way, you touch the tree, touch the plant. Yes, tree means you just touch the bark of the tree. You speak with it. You know, trees will listen to us. If you tell the tree, Oh, I want to eat your mangoes. Please, please, bear the mangoes and give me. Tree will really give you. You experiment that, children. It became true for me. That's the reason I'm telling you, okay? Now here, this is the name tree. Just see here the huge trunk and see the branches are spread far and wide and uh, we get fresh air very cool air from it okay and it is of medicinal value also if we just eat uh, the tender leaves early in the morning children first we may think are baba it is so cut up we don't uh, it is not good uh, like that will think but later on as we eat we will feel like as if it is a medicine and we feel very happy to have it. This is a banyan tree and here the branches of these uh, banyan tree 
spread so much so much that they need some support they need the support for the branches also so hence god has created the prop roots these are the root children the roots grow out of these see when they are small we just hold and we just play as if we are swinging but actually these settle down inside the earth and give support to the banyan tree big trees don't need much care let's take care of a small plant grow a small plant and take care of it if you see people cutting trees stop them make them understand that trees are very important for us if at all we have to cut a tree for a purpose we should plant a new plant in its place let us all plant trees and make our earth clean and green earth why do you feel that trees are growing on their own in forest look your children in forest no one will go to water the plants water the trees once the plant grows thick it doesn't need much water like for example when a baby is born we have to give whole and soul attention for the baby we should eat we should make it uh, eat we should feed the baby we should uh, give a bath everything a to z we have to do it otherwise the child cannot do on its own isn't it but once they grow they start walking they do little work then once they uh, uh, finish their uh first year they grow a little more and start doing their own work in the same manner the trees also in forest seeds dispersal takes place by means of air water and animals seed dispersal means sometimes the seeds get attached to the body of the animals and these animals will go to the other place rub and the seeds fall see nowadays uh, mostly uh when you go out children you watch that some plants will be going from the growing from the walls also why is that because the birds they will eat the seeds also they will swallow the seeds and in the shed the seeds fall to the uh, to the ground or uh, in between the building okay then it starts growing the conditions required for the germination of the seeds are present in the forest see in the forest you have sufficient sunlight water air isn't it soil seed germination takes place in the presence of air water and warmth of sunlight during this process a seed gives rise to a seedling which further grows into a plant in this way plants grow on their own in forest now here write about any one tree with the help of simple questions does a tree flower do the flowers remain on the tree throughout the year in which month do the leaves fall do fruits grow on the tree in which months do they grow and have you eaten this fruits the sample answer yes the mango tree is a flowering plant we know that we have flowering plants and non flowering plants also non flowering plants like the moss and the fern fine now no the flowers do not remain on the tree throughout the year see sometimes the mango tree will be full of flowers mango flowers that are ready to become mangoes but when it is a windy day all the flowers will fall to the ground isn't it only few remains the mango tree is an evergreen plant it is always green it possesses leaves throughout the four seasons the old leaves are shed and replaced by young new leaves the leaves are usually shed around the earth year yes fruits grow on a mango tree a fruiting period of a mango tree is from may to july a summer holiday is it 
Yes, I have eaten mangoes. Why do people hunt? People hunt animals for their meat, skin and bones. In ancient times, people used to hunt animals just for recreation, which is morally wrong. But now, if anyone finds you hunting also, you will be targeted. There are rules against hunting some animals. People can be punished for hunting. Why do you think free there is this type of punishment? Due to excessive hunting, some species of the animals such as black bugs, tigers, etc. are on the verge of extension. Extension means after some years you cannot see these animals anymore because they are being killed and the number is not increasing. To save them, the government has set rules against hunting. But some people ignore these rules and illegally hunt animals. There should be appropriate punishment to stop such people from hunting. Mention the reasons behind the reduced number of sparrows and minor. The main reason is deforestation. Deforestation means cutting of trees. Deforestation means cutting of trees. Increase in the number of buildings and pollution are the main reasons behind the reduced number of sparrows and miners. See here now wherever we see the buildings are coming up four storied, five storied and near, near, nearby, nearby without any trees. They are cutting down the trees in order to build their houses. So in that case how can we expect the birds to build nests? to lay the eggs and the, uh, to see the baby birds, isn't it? Have a nice day all of you. I hope you have enjoyed the story of Amrita, the girl star.